Well, 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 I say yeah, this, 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 this is the end of 2023. I thought we should do a wrap up of sorts. That is not a YouTube rewind as we've seen in the past. There is a video coming out and you should watch it. It's just not out now. Maybe. Probably not out now. It might be. Anyway, I've received a notification from Steam. It's my Steam year, it also by the way, is the encoding overloading because it probably is. It's my Steam year in review. But yeah. This year I played a variety of different games. Oh, I know, darling. So modest. Few of my highlights. 40 games played, 19 new ones, 190 achievements unlocked, 15 rare 22 games, 53 days longest streak, and 23 games played. I'm not going to talk about this. I don't like this game for what it is. I just use it as a physics simulator. How I compare, oh, well, I'm above average, baby. Oh, people get 16 achievements. People play four games and people play. I'm, I'm above average like hell. Oh, my God. Right, okay. I had a look at this. I don't understand it. So here, this thing, 12% of the playtime I had for new releases. But what is this? Released eight or more years ago. What is this? Someone could explain what what these two actually mean. That would help. But oh, it's a spider graph. Okay, dinosaurs and magic seem to be quite high. Magic. Well, I guess phasmophobia could count as magic. Maybe open world survival craft. Yeah, I got back into Ark. Tear down destruction. I didn't play that that much this year, but okay. Mining and then Western Call of Forest Gun Segment Reddit Online Red Dead Redemption Two is on the games. By the numbers, workshop item subscribers. Ooh, that's more than I have on YouTube. Right. Well, that's depressing. Workshop item subscriptions eighty nine. I have more than that on YouTube. Screenshots to go. <laughs> Prehistoric condom. Right. 87 sessions played. 12% of total playtime. Let's double that next year. So I played a 43% of total playtime. Yes, it's yes, January. Didn't play at all in October because I think I was waiting for update 8 to release. And then it did. And then update 9, really. No, update 9. What? No, yes, I got the numbers wrong. Update 8 and 9 released. So I did play update 9 on my laptop. I tried to record it. Didn't work. Failed miserably. I'll do it when I get back. And I got one achievement. That's one big pile white poo in a purple background. Screenshots. Screenshot. Screenshots. Shots. But it's online. Didn't play it for all these months because it wasn't me, it was my daddy. That was necessary. Jedi Survivor, that was a long series. Did I really only play it for three months? Started in April, and then that would have been when all the streams happened, the two hour long streams of beating Bode. That's cool. 27 achievements as well. Okay. And a bunch of screenshots. Phasmophobia. I have not played this with Kyanush in ages. And also, where the hell is Lethal Company? They only introduced achievements this year, actually. The playtime by month of August was very high with Fallout New Vegas. Oh my god, Knights of the Old Republic, Empire at War, Call of Gunslinger, FNAF, 
Ark, and you won't let me see the others, asshole. The Star Kingdom. Oh my god, I play a fuck ton of video games, or games played on virtual reality. No, I... No? The Isle of... Is the Isle VR? I did play that. VR. I'm sorry, bitch! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! I didn't know that, or that, or that. I've never played, that was the only game I've ever played VR. I did not know that was VR. I've played for 53 days, and I've played 23 different games. That was all probably school. Explore the games you played this year. Timeline view. Oh, I want that. January. Okay.